Hello everyone, welcome to the next edition of Wii Wednesday Special. We're playing a deck that I have not ever played, yet it's been around in modern since before I pl started playing Magic, and that is Dredge, of all things. Like I said, I've never actually played it. I've been waiting for a card to drop that could actually maybe see play in this deck. And uh, so I went ahead and just took the bullet because I thought this deck would be awesome. It'd be a good time to start covering this deck. Um, it's kind of fallen out of modern. I kind of hope it doesn't fall out too far into modern because it, I like it being around. Um, but Bitter Reunion is the card we're trying today. So we're going to find out if we can just give Narcomoeba, Oxenagonez, whatever, give it haste attack face um see if that can make the deck a little bit faster um it is taking some slots of the red white um <clears throat> just just card two draw three so hopefully it's not too big of a downside but we'll see 18 lands which is kind of stock for dredge um based on the deck list i've seen we have one cavern in the board so if we're on the play we get to maybe start with an extra land we have drudge to deal with the artifacts like um <clears throat> probably hammer time mainly inquisition as thought sees for control matchups get those counter spells out of your opponent's hand ley line of sanctity pretty decent at stopping um thought sees hand disruption as well as burn we have wear tear to help fight rest in peace ley line of the void etc so we have a decent amount of artifact hate actually so no further ado let's see if we can't beat people with dredge today <laughs> Hello, it's your host Cab BG. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, also the bell notifications. Don't forget to check out the sweet stuff that's down in the description down below. Aired me said you. I hope this is a decent hand. I definitely said I'm not necessarily I'm not played this deck, so I hope I didn't take a bad hand. Maybe I had a mole or the archive trap. All right, creeping chill. Yes. This is a weird matchup. This is definitely a weird matchup. Mill against Dredge. We might not even need to try. He draw grab. Get back. Prize amalgam. I don't think I dredge. Otherworldly gaze. Play the city of brass. Could drop a two drop. Don't think it's necessarily worth it. I can technically discard my cards. Yeah, let's do that instead. So let's attack. I'm assuming he doesn't block this. And then I can just lash that back. Red red pitch everything oh discard two spells i wonder why it only allow me to do two excavate among any number of targets why wouldn't it let me discard more than two cards though we did it did allow us to pitch the prize amalgam so there's a good chance that prize amalgam might just come back and win the game for us we will set a stop on our up go ahead and gaze graveyard 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 no oh my god the next card that is bad very unfortunate attack for four he blocks pass the turn fatal pushes it's just so ironic though we find the other narcomoeba he surgicals the prized amalgams isn't that unfortunate island for the opponent he mills us for 14 get a couple narcomoebas always yes always yield so now we got some Marco Bibas passes. Do we have an ox? We have a gaze. We do have an ox. So we can, I can't undo. Crap. We will, I guess, dredge back that. Hopefully get a couple creeping chills. Worked out. And hit you. Got it. Let's get in the game too. Maybe ley line's worth it. And we probably want to bring caverns. Dark blasts don't seem very good. Run it like that. We would have foothills. Crack it. Hopefully we bait some archive traps. Play a tap land. Go. Yep. All right. There we go. Always yes. Always yield. Get back Narco Amiibo. Get back some prize amalgams. All right. Got our prize amalgams. I guess we'll mill. Bring back Imp. Drain you. Get back a Narco Amiibo. Play Blood Crypt. Apt. Go to combat. Hit you. I could maybe have just oxed. Maybe that would have been correct. Two red ox. Man, this was this was a great start. Thank you, archive trap. Pop you. Okay, get back some ghouls too. While I'm at it. All right. What can he do about this board? 
I will be better in game two, or match two. Looks like we're taking this one. And starting out of the gate, 1-0. and oh, There's a lantern. He's happy he finally found a Drew Graveyard hate piece, which is a little late to the party. Probably should be just playing, uh, play a better union. Discard imp. Cancel. Hit ya. GG's. Got that one. Let's get into the next. Mana Confluence. Go. Ether Vial. This must be Death and Taxes. Graveyard. Top. Top. Draw the Blood Crypt. Why the Blood Crypt? Bitter Reunion. Discard a prize amalgam. You know what? We will mill. We will mill. Bring back Narco Amoeba. Reaping Chill. Get back some uh, ghouls and some uh, prize amalgams. You. What do you guys say about this opponent? What is your little vial going to do? Asses. Dark Blast. Go to combat. Hit you. Pat the Exile. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> we don't have basics. That's a... Uh... That's a thing. Okay, kills that one too. Takes four. Stupid City of Brass. Prize Amalgam. Go. I could play Thug next turn and give him haste. Flicker Wisp. What do you blink? Blinks of Planes. Back is Planes. So you have another path. Okay, Dark Blast. Flicker Wisp. Red. Thardic Reunion. Dredge. 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 All right. Narc Amoebas. Hit ya. Down to three past the turn. Stoneforge Mystic. Up to the vial plays clearing stoneforge mystic puts down a batter skull but that doesn't do anything he has to take out an arc amoeba we will get back dark blast play golgari thug i could attack with just narc amoeba if he has a removal we lose maybe i could attack with every I could attack with everything could attack with everything minus minus on the token so he gains three and takes three additional i think that's what i want to do I can't have be blown out by a removal spell here. I need to put this game away before he gains too much life with his germ. Minus minus the germ token, right? Yeah, so he, he definitely had an answer. So now I think he has to equip to the Stoneforge and attack Archon. We will <coughs> bring back Gar Dark Blast. Trying to get something going. Go to combat attack with everything. Blocks, blocks. Kill the Stoneforge. Down to one pass a turn. If he draws a land, he has a, he definitely needs to equip the batter skull. Start attacking with it. That is the best way he's going to win. Got it. So he has a lot of artifacts. We'll bring in some layer tears, grudges over dark blast. Bring in the gemstone. Maybe we don't need that many layer tears. Go down the comfort gate or not like that. I think a gun shoe file. Sure. We freaking top deck at caverns. That is so awkward. Grab steam vents untapped. Gaze graveyard graveyard top pastern up text the vial and back eats my dude that's pretty decent pro red kind of weird play city of brass i don't even know if i have an answer to this gaze graveyard graveyard top past the turn so i have portable hole for game number three heads us flicker wisp blinks the ghost quarter so that way he can blow up one of my lands past the turn plays a field of ruin gonna strip mine me huh got it down to nine mm-hmm seems pretty good two five yeah pass not looking good for us heads us for five down to four passes cathartic reunion and we're dead all right so we need portable holes could bring in these go down the cards we did bring in maybe down a ghoul a thug run like that play it tap land go Aaron mesa play the Aaron mesa crack it get steam vents untapped better reunion pitch the thug go ahead and fill up the yard a little bit Pass the turn. Get some prize amalgams. Uh, these basics are killing me. We have no freaking basics and we keep losing because of it. Sanctifier, in fact, eats up my yard a little bit. That's fine. Another bitter reunion. Play mana confluence. Thardic reunion. I don't think I need these two. Go to combat. Hit you for four. Pass the turn. Skyclave appetizers. Eats a prize amalgam. No attacks. Passes. Another damn land. Uh, play what a foothill. Thin this deck up. Saker Foundry. Untapped. Creeping Chill. Hit you. Ganju Camp. Castle. Rest in peace. That's fine. Right now I'm on the uh, trying to draw accent to go in his plan. Give it haste. He attacks us. That's fine. God, oh, the freaking pass. Creeping Chill. What if foothills? Crack the foothills. Get that steam vents out of there. Creeping Chill. Hit you. Pass the turn. Give me an axe. 
please, Ox, Arbiter. Thank God we have no more fetches to, or any lands to get with fetches anymore. Take the four down to nine. Small ghoul. Okay, play the ghoul. Play the land. Play bitter reunion. Pitch the caverns. White portable hole. Eat the giver. Hit ya. Flicker wisp. Flicker's my ghoul. Does he beat me? No, he hits me for six. We're at one. Hits me for four. Makes sense. Don't overextend if you think you're gonna win. If you can't win this turn, you should not overextend. Come on, deck. Gaze. Like gaze. Uh, I guess this is pretty much over with, isn't it? Yeah, we just did not find what we need. Ghoul, sack it, give him haste, and attack. Yeah, we did not win this one. <sighs> yeah, they have just too many ways of dealing with our lands, and we don't have basics, so... All right, we're one-on-one -on -one with the deck. Let's get into the next. What a foothills. Crack the foothills. Steam vents untapped. Go. Let's see what he's playing before I do this gaze. Blue to Delta. Okay. Gaze, graveyard, graveyard, pop, play arid mesa, crack the mesa, grab blood crypt, untapped, pass, crack the delta, gets a blood crypt, untapped, scalding tarn, crack it. This must be Grixis Death Shadow? Could it be? Ledger Shredder. There is still a possibility that it is Grixis Death Shadow. Bobble, gaze, graveyard, graveyard. I want the reunion cracks it realizes we're gonna draw a cathartic reunion passes draws a card no what if foothills crack the foothills sacred foundry red red cathartic reunion pitch ox dark blast dredge dredge and dredge creeping chills drain you past the turn next turn we can ox let's see eats my ox Looks, looks like expressive iterations inbound. Dragon Rage Chandler. Just one all the expensive cards in one deck. See how that works out. Redder, Chandler, Ragavan. Just do it. Everything. Death Shadow. Do think we go ahead and do that. So our plan is to ox this turn. We will eat up the lands. Not the gaze. Dark Blast I don't need. Get back ox. He should counter this if he has the ability to counter it. Drown the lock. I probably should have tapped the steam vent. Kept the dark blast for pass the turn. We're not dead. A dashed Ragava. Pretty good. Smacks us to 10. Makes a treasure. Eats an arid mesa. That's good. Expressive iteration. He's tapped out. That's kind of not the best position to be in. We've only hit two creeping chills, so we, we could draw in another. Expressive iteration. Watery grave. Plays a watery grave. Passes. Let's dredge, get back Narcomoeba, trigger all the prize amalgams. It's a great feeling. So, Ox, leave up the Black Source, Mana Confluence, Cathartic Reunion, What if it Hills, Bitter City, Bitter A Gaze. Have another one? Um, I guess go Gary Thug. Play Ox, mill my entire, throw away my entire hand, get back Imp, get back Imp, get back Golgari Thug. Creeping Chill, get back a Narcomoeba. Pass the turn. Have them all sprock. Look at that. That is such a beautiful thing to see. We have 10 cards left in the deck. We could mail ourselves out. Ledger Shredder. Death Shadow. Desperately trying to find something. Knives. Gets a bit, makes it bigger. Underworld Breach. That's interesting to see in a Death Shadow list. Dragon Rage Channeler. We will. Not block. Take it. Cancel. Draw a card. City of Brass. Go to combat. Hit you with everything. Box, box, box. Takes five. All right. Resolves. He bolts the prize amalgam. How many creeping chills have we done? One, two. I think we can still win, right? Creeping chill number four. So let's gaze. Graveyard. 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 Creeping chill win. Pop you. Got it. So he's graveyard based strategies. Um, Death Shadow. Does get got by hole. Cut a dark blast. Cut ghoul. Should I expect graveyard hate? Do I need to bring in wear and tear? We are on the play, so we could bring that in. Let's cut City of Brass. I don't like that. Blood Crypt. Thoughtseize, maybe? Dragon Rage Chandler? Dragon Rage Chandler. I think I'm gonna just dark blast that. All right. 
Resolves. Cracks the bobble. Draw looks at her top card. Draws a card. Creeping chill. Oh my god, that's a terrible top deck. Wood of fails. Crack it. Blood crit. Untap. Dark blast. Or he gets more value out of it. Pass the turn. I think we dredge. Play steam vents. Untap. Dark Blast. Go. Turns out Dark Blast is just good. Gaze. Graveyard. 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 Get back Dark Blast. Always yes. Always yield. Aired Mesa. Crack the Mesa. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Play the Ghoul. Pass the turn. Still no land for the opponent. He scoops the matchup. Two and one with the deck. Get another wrap up. So what do we learn this week about Dread? We face one of the probably arguably one of the easiest matchups for the deck, right? I mean, we are built to beat Mill all the time. So that matchup probably was just an auto win. Death and Taxes is a little bit of a pain. Like I said, we don't have any basics. Maybe cutting of Steam Vents for a basic might be worth it. Uh, that's just, I don't know if it's worth it or not, but that's a consideration to make. But, and then we turn around and beat Death Shadow. So pretty decent performance. I'm quite happy with the list. Um... We never really got to see Bitter Reunion work with Ox or the Ghoul or really any of these, right? We could just hard cast these. I don't really care about Narco Amoeba because in this package, because let's be real here. I mean, they're one power, so they don't really, <laughs> not going to do a lot of damage on a hasty body, but these guys on the other hand could potentially just haste them. Keep in mind with this and this, we have to make sure that we actually cast it. So you need four mana to do that plus sack the reunion now is reunion better than the red white version of reunion Pro maybe it's not just because of the fact that this deck actively wants to draw three cards to dredge probably like 15 cards anywhere from 10 to 15 right because three dredge creatures in the yard um so three eight yeah so 11 so and that's like the weakest i guess this is the weakest right so if you had two dark blasts and a thug that'd be 10 so yeah so overall i like the deck let me know down in the comments what cards you guys would have considered hopefully i didn't punt too many too much but uh, I hopefully I did good enough for my first time piloting Dredge. The deck felt fun. I could see why people like this strategy. And it's been in Modern's pastimes. Until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day.